Hello, it's Friday. Excuse the mop. I just went to brush my hair and found out that when I stayed in, I went to a motel a couple of days ago and uh, somehow when we came back yesterday, my hairbrush must have got left in the rental car. Awesome. So now I don't have a hairbrush. That's just so great. Um, yesterday when I took a shower, I just didn't even brush it, so I didn't even notice until today. But anyway, um, I just wanted to do a quick little video of today's thoughts. Um, I was watching Nightline again. I, I really should stop that, but, uh, yeah, oh, Mick Jagger had another baby. Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? That skanky old wrinkled up prune had another kid? Another kid? Okay, even if he was young and virile or whatever, eight kids is ridiculous. There needs to be a law against it. We really need to start controlling our population. The only chance humankind has, the only chance humankind has for survival is if we start controlling our population. You know, there's, I'm sure there's studies out that can say exactly how many people this planet can handle you know, safely, and where we give back, and we're not destroying our planet. We're way, 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 way over that number, that's for dang sure, and nobody seems to care because money controls everything, and stupidity, money and stupidity, but the fact of the matter is, is we need population control, or we need a war that kills off several billion people, that's the only chance humankind has. All intelligent people know this, only the stupid sheep don't know it, and I think we're way past that point of no return. I, I think we're way past it, no matter what. Uh, maybe around y, Y2K, around 2000, we might have been able to turn it around. But we've gone so far past the point of no return that only one of those two things can happen. That's it. But anyway, back to Mick Jagger. What a disgusting pig. Oh, my God. You know, do not penises like him bother thinking about anything besides their... I mean, he's a sociopath, obviously. He's just a sociopath, narcissist, freak, who's in love with himself and thinks he is the god of the world or something, and that he's just spread his seed everywhere. Fuck you, prick. You're disgusting. Wow. You should have gave it up a long time ago, as far as music and all the rest of it, too. You're pathetic. Go retire, you fucking gross pig, and stop pumping out more unwanted kids on this planet. Wow, the kids, your kids will grow up to be nothing but stupid fucking morons anyway, spoiled, rotten losers who don't know anything. Uh, you know, when you were young and you were actually poor and traveling around in a bus, you might have had a clue about what life was really like, but you haven't had a clue yourself in over 50 years what real people are like. So your children don't have a chance in hell of growing up even halfway normal, and then they have this old freaking goat for a father and this young skanky whore for a mother. I mean, come on. I don't know. I've gotten two mixed reports. One said he was 73 and one said he's 79, but that bitch is 29. Are you kidding me? There's no way she loves him. No way, okay? There's no way on the planet that no one 50 years younger than you is going to marry you unless it's for money. Okay, you've obviously paid her, you've obviously made a contract, hey, you know, suck my cock once in a while, uh, be whatever, and I'll leave you with a whole lot of freaking money, you know, just make me look good until I croak, you know, whatever. Obviously, she's under contract to pretend like she loves him, because there's no fucking way. Everybody on the planet knows that. Back 30, 40 years ago, women like that were looked down upon, spit on, like gold digging freaking disgusting slut whores. I mean, even the rich ones that you couldn't spit on, nobody respected. They were nothing but the front page of every freaking Inquirer magazine and everything else. And, yeah, they're disgusting. She's disgusting. Those poor kids. Wow. They don't have a chance in hell to grow up to be even halfway normal. There should be a law against it. There's something seriously wrong with that gross old brick having another kid. Wow. Um, so that's pretty much my thought for today. Yeah, I'm on my bandwagon about population control and everything else because that's the only way. I, I, I'm sick and tired of living in a world where 
people like him are controlling things and these politicians and these losers and these sheep and everything else destroying this planet. And there's nothing we can do about it. I'm just a passenger here and I'm going to be freaking destroyed with all the rest of the sheep because I don't have any place to go to get away from the fucking stupid assholes. I'm sick of that crap. Anyway, so, um, yeah, have a good day. That's my thoughts on Mick Jagger's new little skanky little rug rat and his skanky old whore. Well, I shouldn't say old whore. She's just a little girl, but she has no morals. She's gross, and she's a money grubber, and there's no way that she would be with that man if it wasn't for his riches. Disgusting. You know what would be nice? When this planet does go to war and skanker little whores like her are running around looking up for people like me to protect them because I don't care how many toys and things they have in their mansions. Eventually their shit will run out. They won't know how to, to run anything. They won't know how to shoot again. And if they do, they're still going to need other people. So they're going to have to leave their strongholds eventually and go out into the world where there will already be groups of strongholds already set up up and they won't be part of them and they're going to have to bribe their way into them so they can hide in their little strongholds all they want eventually it won't protect them anymore either so fuck off you stupid scumbag Mick Jagger freak you know you should have been freaking sterilized you should have had a vasectomy like after your third kid it should be a law. Men should have their fucking dicks closed off after the third kid. Legal vasectomies. It should be a law because that's the problem. Women, we got to carry the thing for nine months. And it's not like we can just go around the world just spreading our seed everywhere and running off and not even worrying what becomes of it like men. No. That's why, you know, unless you're married to a Mormon or one of them stupid men that controls you and forces you into being a baby machine, most women will only have a couple kids by choice. If they have a choice, that is. Most, you know, any woman that has more than one child, or two kids, two to three kids, more than likely didn't have a choice in the matter. So, whatever. This is stupid. Go to hell, Mick Jagger, and your fucking little blob, because that's another thing. I'm sick and tired of living in a world where babies or little kids are held on such high pedestals. Excuse me, back in the pioneer days, the kids were just born to help on the farm or help with whatever, and they had more than a couple kids because they had to, because they died off. You know, if half of them even made it to adulthood, they were lucky. So that's why they had more than two kids or whatever. But these days, it's nothing but stupid Mormons or freaks like that woman. The Octomom, whatever happened to that disgusting, pathetic creature? Wow. Don't hear about those. Or the, the eight, the, the freaking family that had the eight. Oh, oh, that's right. Daddy was screwing around. Mommy ran off somewhere else. And it, Kate and her eight. And who knows what the hell's happening with those scumbags. I mean, disgusting. I'm so glad that that freaking fad passed by hopefully people ain't going and knocking themselves up with a dozen kids just thinking they're going to get a tv show that was fucking sick really sick but i better stop right now because i could just go on and on and on about people and their fucking kids you know i i loved my i love my kids beyond my own life there's no words that can even describe the love other people's kids not so much they're kind of irritating yeah, so whatever. People should take care of their own yard apes, and they should teach them some fucking manners and stop thinking the rest of the world should give a shit about them, because I don't.